I want to talk about Enzo Fernandez, right? Enzo is being linked with the move to Real Madrid. But just like we talked about earlier with the Rodri uh, deal, possibly, they got to put Chouameni in the conversation. I need you guys to read this report. Real Madrid are ready to sell Chouameni to Chelsea as part of a deal to sign Enzo Fernandez, who Carlo Ancelotti wants personally. What kind of dumb shit is this? Chouameni is one of the best young defenders, central defenders in the world, CDM. Enzo Fernandez is considered a flop at Chelsea. They've relegated him to the B squad. He's lost his starting place to Romeo Lavia. The only time that we see Enzo Fernandez start games nowadays is in the Carabao Cup and the Conference League. On what planet does Florentino Perez and the Real Madrid board think it's a good idea to sell Chelsea to a many in a swap deal for Enzo Fernandez? It makes absolutely no sense. Both of these players are on complete opposite ends of the spectrum. Chuameni is highly rated. He's highly valued. He's very important. He just capped in France in the last international break in the, in the Nations League. You're telling me that we're going to swap him out, a guy that starts for us week in, week out. We are going to swap him for a guy that most Chelsea fans don't even rate. And that is a bench player now. I was born at night, but not last night. What kind of dumb shit is that? Now, I don't mean to talk bad about Enzo Fernandez because I rate Enzo very highly. If you guys have been watching this channel, I have been calling for Real Madrid to sign Enzo Fernandez because I believe with the skill set that he has, he is the perfect Tony Cruz replacement. He is the deep line playmaker that we are missing in that midfield. He has all the qualities to do that Cruz role. But would I give up two of many for Enzo? Fuck no. If there was any deal that had to happen, Chelsea would need to give me Enzo plus 70 million for two of many. Are you mad? But yes, I do think Enzo Fernandez would bring some great balance into our midfield. Because we had a terrible summer window. How does Tony Cruz retire? And we decide to not replace him in the summer. To not try. Now, obviously, is Enzo as good as Tony Cruz? Never. But I'm talking about from a skill set standpoint, Enzo Fernandez is a deep line playmaker. He has an excellent passing range as well. That's literally what we need. Why do you think our midfield looks so imbalanced? Why do you think there's no creativity coming from that midfield? Because there's no Tony Cruz. And I remember in the summer window, when Carlo Ancelotti, the first week of August, said that our window is closed. The squad, we're not going to make any signings. Nobody else is going to leave. I was so confused. I'm like, well, why would you say this with a month left in the transfer window? We still haven't signed a center back. We still didn't sign a right back. And we need a deep line playmaker in the midfield. Why would we not go out there and try and be aggressive in the market? It's because Florentino Perez and the board, they overrated our squad. They thought losing Tony Cruz wouldn't be that much of an impact. Clearly, it really has. It really has. People like to talk about our front line. Oh, well, Mbappe can't play a striker. Bro, Mbappe has been fine as a striker. He's making the right runs. He's putting himself in the best positions. He just cannot score. His shooting boots are missing. Once Mbappe remembers how to shoot, he will be just fine. But that midfield, for me, Tony Cruz, him retiring, 
has been the biggest L for us because our midfield not balanced, bro. It's really not. So I would take Enzo Fernandez, but not in no swap deal with too many. If they want to do a player swap for Enzo, I got Danny Ceballos and 25 million for you. We can do that. But true many, you're not getting true many. No, it's not happening. I don't know who Chelsea think they're dealing with here. This is not Arsenal, okay? You guys finesse Arsenal. You don't finesse a Real Madrid. That, that's just not how we operate. But I know Enzo has been underneath a lot of pressure in the Prem, right? A lot of people don't rate him. He is considered a flop, right? And we were linked to Enzo before, right? We, we were linked to him uh, when he was going crazy in the World Cup. But Chelsea just paid a ridiculous amount of money for him in the January window. They spent 105 – they made Enzo Fernandez the most expensive player in Premier League history in the January window. Nobody was ever going to match that kind of – because Enzo was never worth that money. They literally overpaid for him because of how well he did in that World Cup. But we were linked to him. So he was a player that the club were following. He was. And I believe he's just not suited to the Premier League. I, I don't think the reason why Enzo is struggling has to do with him as a player. I just think the Prem is not suited to him. Maybe it's too fast paced. We see that happen with a few players. I think if you put Enzo in that Real Madrid midfield next to Jude, Valverde, a Camavinga, a Chuameni, a Luka Modric, and a much better system surrounded by better quality, I think that you will see the best version of Enzo. I actually believe if he played for a Man City, if he played for an Arsenal, a Bayern Munich, a Barcelona, I think people would be talking about Enzo Fernandez a lot differently. And I think whenever he does leave Chelsea, because it seems like he will leave Chelsea sooner than later, I believe he will get a move to a big club. Because I know I'm not the only one that sees the quality that this guy has. So, yeah, as I said, I would take Enzo Fernandez at Real Madrid in the summer. But they're not going to get a lot of money for him, even though Chelsea fans want us to believe that they will get a lot of money. The reason why they can't get a lot of money for Enzo is because since he's joined them, he's not played well. He's been demoted, so his value has tanked. And I get it. You know, Chelsea are over there signing their players on these death row contracts. But he's not worth – you're, you're going to lose a lot of money whenever they decide to sell Enzo. They spent $105 million. They're not getting no more than, like, 55 right now. It's going to be a huge loss. So they might just keep him. Who knows? But, yeah, as I said, Danny Ceballos and $15 million for Enzo Fernandez.